All must prosper for one to prosper. All must prosper for one to prosper. It's very deep. You know something? On a previous edition of Good Evening About This, is what I said was this. That if you are the richest man in the world, and you live where? Beverly Hills. You live in Beverly Hills. You're not rich. You know why? Because people will take your money from you. They will take your money. Armed robbers, thieves, the Internal Revenue Service, even Ghana Revenue Authority will find a way to take money from you. They'll take money from you because they don't have money. Sabi, Sabi, I'm not saying that Ghana Revenue Authority does not have money. But I'm saying that because they don't have money, they will come to you. Trust me. Have you heard? Do you see what is happening in America right now with people from Guatemala and India and Ghana going overseas in boats to look for money? So remember this. If you want to prosper, you have to prosper other people. Yes. If you want to prosper, everybody must prosper. Everybody must prosper. And the Bible teaches us a very important lesson in Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 to 40. It says, love your neighbor as yourself. There's a reason why it says that when you love each other, we all prosper. And when all prosper, one prospers. And when one prospers, all prosper. So please, people, all must prosper for one to prosper and one must prosper for all to prosper. If you are the richest person in Ghana and you live in Trasaco Valley and there's someone who has a shack somewhere and he doesn't have water to drink and he doesn't have access to a clean WC, he will come and move his kiosk and put it in front of your kiosk because he thinks your, your place is making more money. Let's all work together. Think about the person who doesn't have. And instead of squashing that person, find a way to lift that person up so that we all live prosperously. Goodbye. <laughs>